Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. This is a battle on the highway map, and we're following Pugsley from Fiddy Clan in the Object 140. Uh, Object 140 was recently improved. Uh, the um, main improvements were the uh, gun depression uh, increase and some, some slight armor changes, etc. So it's um, uh, yeah, a little bit better tank than it was before, and we're going to see how Pugs manages this tank. Uh, now it's coming to the area where the mediums normally battle, and the um, game has four tier tens, four tier nines, and seven tier eight, so slightly different from three five seven, but um, this still makes him top tier. But uh, more tier tens and tier nines to battle. So he has been spotted coming up here question is how many enemy tanks are here. Now uh, it's interesting, it looks like only a single um, Type 61 tier 9 uh, medium tank and uh, he's taking a little bit of damage but he's pumping rounds into him. It's a good, good DPM this um, tank, it's around about 3000 uh, hit points per minute depending on um, your configuration and types of rammers etc. But you can see he's basically taken most of the health of that. Now he has got um, some support from C54 Mod 1 as well as a uh, single artillery piece on each side. And he's just pushing on. Hopefully the C54 Mod 1 keeps up. But uh, from this point on um, it's likely to meet tank destroyers and there you go. There's a Struve S1 who spotted him. But it's also been spotted at the same time. It looks like the strip is backing off, so a good time to push further forward. Now he's just taking a slightly different line here, get up on top of the hill, put some um, terrain between you and where the enemy thinks you're going to be. Uh, it was spotted there, so was that the strip or something else? We'll find out. Oh, there's the strip, so he bounced around from the strip. Doesn't get a shot in in return and gets hit by Artie, so we know there's an artillery there in the corner. And they've also spotted an ICU-152K, now that's the tier 8 Russian heavy tank destroyer. Uh, it's got a fairly long reload on it, so he's taken the opportunity to put two rounds into there. That was a blind shot, looks like it connected, there was no splash up or dust anything like that. Bounces a shot from the ICU, and takes his time aiming, puts a shot in, and just aiming again, now it goes dark, but he knows where he is, puts another round in, doesn't look like there's any splash there, so looks like he's going to get some um, additional damage there that's not showing. Bounces another round from the ICU, that ICU driver's not having a good time, and maybe he's pushing in here to change his angle, but uh, that doesn't help, he gets rid of him. So that's two kills to Pugs, and they're two, two kills up, and there's the Striv punishing him for uh, forgetting that he was there. So he puts another shot in. Gets another shot in but takes a big hit from the Struv. And, but the Struv goes down but he gets the kill with his final shot there. That brings him up to three kills. And we know the Artie's there, some in the corner. Um, now it could be other tanks here of course, or tank destroyers. So you just got to be a bit careful but uh, pushing on forward. Speed gives you a bit of an advantage here in terms of surprise. In fact, there's the Artie's moving, so he snaps a shot in there and uh, gets taken out by the. Um, uh, oh, destroyed by the TFD 4 Mod 1. Now, pushing on through here, there doesn't seem to be anything else spotted, but there's enemy tanks in the town there. Uh, there's an EBR 90. Uh, just misses him as he turns the reload as he goes behind cover, but he comes out again, and bang, here he goes. So, mostly firing standard rounds here, pr pretty much. Um, not required to use premium rounds against the lower tiers, so uh, we'll see whether that shot selection changes. But uh, he's already up to 3.4k of damage, well we think that's going to be more more like uh, 4k at this point. Um, we'll see how that turns out in the uh, end game stats, but nonetheless there's some juicy targets up ahead. But uh, all the tanks are pushing in on them, that's um, 6 tank advantage now, so pretty much got the tanks there cornered. He's going to pick his targets carefully. The, um, there's an FV4005 stage 2 there, the shit, the, uh, shit barn. And he's got one on his own side there. He's got to be careful as well. And he pushes here on the object 430U. 
puts a good shot in and tracks him at the same time. Bounces a shot from him. And there's a CDA 105 coming to help him. And he bounces a shot in return. And the CDA takes care of the object. So you now you can push in on these um, remaining tanks. Looking for a quick shot there. Now they're getting out behind cover. So I don't think he wants to push in on that 4005. So I'd be obliterated in a single shot. He's definitely one shotable. And certainly even if that's a, um, a miss, as in it gets splashed, he'll go down. So he's changing the angle here. There's the, the feet. And removes him. That brings him up to five kills. Now he's only one off a top gun here. Fock 155. Now it dies before he can shoot. And there's one remaining tank. The E75. Recently buffed itself, but its side armor obviously no match for the rounds from the object 140. It's looking for a tracking shot there. Looks like he gets it. Will he get the top gun? Uh, who's got the kill shot here? Quick reload, and that's a kill shot for Pugs, and that's his top gun. So, great result, bit of a fun match there, and uh, looks pretty enjoyable to me. So, that was an ace tanker game for Pugsley. Uh, he also got the high caliber award and the top gun for the six kills. He ended up with uh, 5.1k of direct damage and just over 1800 of assisted damage. So a good result there, uh, 89k of credits and a decent amount of experience there, with probably uh, with the daily multiplier. So finished on top with 1319 base experience for top 10, that is an excellent result there. Um, top uh, damage of course, um, double the nearest player was tier 9, so he had some decent experience from there as well. And uh, supported by the rest of his team who all basically put in, apart from one tank who didn't manage to get a damaging shot in. And on the enemy side, the E75, who was there at the end, uh, basically got the most damage there. So he fired 24 shots, 23 connected, so a lot of those blind shots did connect. Um, 18 of those penetrated, so yeah, some bounced, but that gave him his decent damage total. And he finished in the profit margin, so it's not bad for a tier 10 game. So anyway, thanks Pugs for the good replay, and we'll look to see more of your content on the channel. Cheerio.